This video is a beginner's tutorial on how to add schema markup to your website with the desire to earn a featured snippet on the search engines. And so let me show you what it is that I'm referring to here. If we were to go over to Google and type in, uh, let's see, Las Vegas gated communities. This right here is a rich snippet. It's a featured snippet. So what you're going to see is the ads are on top of the search column of the search on the on the search engine results page. And then you have your featured snippet and then you have your regular results. So in this particular case, if you scroll down and look, the top four ads, this is my my featured snippet here. Scroll down and look, you'll see Zillow is first on the organic results, Millie Fine is second, and I'm third. And so this featured snippet actually pushes me up to the top position. And you would imagine that if people were scrolling and they were looking for Las Vegas gated communities, that they would be interested in this and they would click this. So let me show you a little bit about... Um, about how I'm doing this on a WordPress website, okay? Now, I'm not going to show you um, complicated code or anything. I'm just going to keep this really, really simple just to get you started. So here's an example of an article that I've written, how to sell a house with a real estate agent, okay? So here's the article. Now, in a second, I'm going to hit edit, And I'm going to show you where we can do where we can do the markup on this, um, so that we can hopefully have Google come scan our website and maybe put something good on it. Now, now uh, maybe pull a, a featured snippet from it. I find typically that the tables are being featured on the search engines a lot. Okay, so this is a table right here. Okay. So I'll show you, I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to enter one of my pre-made tables right here. So I'm going to insert a table. This is a seller's article, so I want my little seller call to action table. So once I find my table, all I have to do is hit insert short code and it's right there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to preview this so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's that table. Obviously we wouldn't have that little edit button in there. That's in there because I'm logged in. But this is the little table. Now, a lot of my tables have, some of my tables have 100 links on them, some of them have three, some of them have 12, but we are finding that, that those are coming up. Let's just, let's just for the fun of it, do a little research here. So we're going to go to Google and um, let me see, San Diego Pet Supply. Okay, no rich snippet on there. Pet Supplies. Okay, so that's the local pack, San Diego florists. No, okay, San Diego races. There's one. Okay, so I just, I, I that was completely random, you guys. I don't even know where, <laughs> where I got that from. But see what I'm talking about? See how this is a table? So it's got columns and rows like that. Now, you can build these tables all kinds of ways. You could do it just by making a, a simple spreadsheet. Um, I use a plugin on my WordPress real estate website uh, called um, Table Press. So, Table Press. So, all I have to do to go over and make one of those tables, I go to Table Press, Add New Table. And I've got other videos on these too. I'll title it, put a little description. I'll say I want three rows and three columns, and you can add rows and columns after the fact, so don't worry about that. And then I'll just type it in. So I'm going to have, I'm selling cows, so I'm going to sell a purple cow and a blue cow and a pink cow, because my cows are not boring. And I'm going to go insert link, and I'm going to highlight the purple cow, and I'm going to put a link in here and send it to another page on my website. If you need me to slow down do, when, when I, to see that again, just go to my YouTube channel, type in uh, table press, or if you're a Valen method owner, um, you can find it in there. Okay, so next up, so you wanna give it, some, give, you wanna give Google something to grab that would be relevant. Oh, now let's type in this search term and see if there's anything coming up already. How to sell a house with a real estate agent. Okay, good. So there's nothing even there yet. There's no rich snippet up there yet. 
Um, how about how to sell a house? Okay, now we got another one. So here's another example of a rich snippet. Now see here what they did? They, they've got a list here. Now let's go ahead and open it so I can see what their list looks like. There, so it's just a, is that their list? Okay, got a bunch of salesy stuff on here. It's terrible. Sorry, people, but that's just a lot of distraction. Um, it's interesting. I'm, I, I wonder where they, where they actually compose. I don't actually see the list on the page. Um, so it's interesting. It's probably in their coding there. I wanted to see if we could actually see that, if that was a table of contents or what it was. Um, how to sell a house with a realtor. Realtor. There we go. Here's another one. Okay. Uh, seven, seven step guide to selling a house with a realtor. Let's look at that. Okay. So it is, this is fascinating to me, you guys. It's actually making the rich, the featured snippet from these. It's actually creating one, two, three, four. Okay. So lists, lists are another big one. And each one of these, um, heading titles looks like it's a link to something else, which is how I do mine too. So lists, tables, um, and then answering a question. So let's see, what is the average temperature? Oh, wow, that was a good one. What is the average height of a man? Okay, so see this? This is another featured snippet. Now this one they don't have a table. They don't have a list. They have an answer. Okay. So it's got an answer. Now that's actually, um, that actually happens in the knowledge graph when you can get an actual answer, um, to a question with a link back, which is really cool. Okay. Now, in order to, the knowledge graph will pop up without you having any, um, any schema on there. Okay. You can learn more about that. Here's the, here's the featured. Oh, that still is a featured snippet. Okay. Um, so this is not actually part of the knowledge graph. So it's, it's, it's functioning similar to the knowledge graph in that it's answering a question, but it's actually showing up as a featured snippet. Now I've seen people get featured snippets without doing any schema markup on their, on their web pages, but um, we know that this is, this is a, this is one way to call attention to it from Google. So you have to first have a website that is visible to the search engines. You know, you've got, you got to have other pages that are ranking for this to start working and you've got to have a table or a list or answer a question for them to pull from something like that. And then down here, once you add your, um, your plugin and the, and the plugin I use is called, um, all in one schema all in one schema. Now this is a free plugin is why I'm using it. I may end up going to a more comprehensive plugin in the future, but I really wanted to use this one and see it work for you before I, um, before I started going to a higher end one. Okay. So after you do the article, you go down here and it says configure rich snippet, see what this post is about. So now what you can do is you can make it a review where people can review the, the, um, the item or the product, you could make it an event. So if this is an open house, um, a coming soon listing, uh, you know, some, uh, a, a buyer seminar that you're doing, you can mark it up as an event. And so what you would do is you would click event and then your box will open and you just fill in the blanks. Here's the, the event title. Here's where it's going to be. I would do this with every open house. Here's a description. Here's a start date, end date. Okay. There's a good chance that could land on the top of the, uh, of the search engine. That's a featured snippet. Okay. Item review, um, here, if you want somebody to leave items, that's not as, that's not as common on our real estate websites, right? Uh, people. So if this was about a person, so if you've got a, a website where you're featuring, you know, um, maybe you're featuring vendors and, and, and plumbers and state home stagers and movers and whatnot. You could do that here. We're going to mark up, um, a product. So you get a new listing and you could make a product around that listing. Okay. You can put that it's five stars and other people can go look at that listing and they can give it reviews as well. Now, I don't know, this is experimental. I have no idea if, if, uh, Google is going to like these 
products related to real estate listings, um, these product reviews related to real estate listings. I'm guessing it's probably not um, in a long term, but I sure love it because what happens is, um, I'll show you, let's go to um, homes for sale with a pool in Las Vegas. Okay, so let's scroll down here. So here you have, this is a paid ad, and then here you have paid ad, paid ad, paid ad, paid ad. So then homes for sale at the pool, you have realtor.com, Zillow, a local competitor, a local competitor, truly, and then you have me. And we all kind of jog up and down around here. But look at, I have those stars there because I have a product review page, um, which kind of is nice. It draws attention to it. Now, whether or not, like I said, Google's going to let that stand, I'm not sure yet. I don't know if they'll consider that spammy or not. It's it's interesting because it is they they are products, they are houses for sale. They are for sale. They do have a price. They do have a U.S. currency. They do have an image. So we'll have to see. I'm not sure yet. That's that's experimental for me with real estate. Then you can do a recipe. Okay, so if you've got a cooking website, and then here is the markup for software application. Here is the markup for a video. So you put the video title, the description, the thumbnail, upload the video, or you can put the um, embed in there, how long it is. Now, I have not done this. So I have I just started playing with all this. I'm going to, I think I'll go ahead and do a, a video markup so we can take a look and see um, how that works. I'm going to do that today. And maybe I'll come back and make a special one just on the video markup so we can see what it does after after I see results, okay? But this is the one I do the most. Well, let me show you service. So down at the bottom here, service. So you can put service type uh, listing agent, you know, where your area serves. So this could go on like your about page um, or maybe you have different services. Maybe you have a home, maybe you're an appraisal and a home stager and a real estate agent and you want to put your different services, okay? You can do that in there. I might go do, I'm not sure, I might do that on my contact page. Okay, and then we have articles. So this is the one I'm doing, been playing with the most because I, I started here. And there's others. Um, there, I know there's one that has blog and article, which is interesting. But um, this is all of the all-in-one scheme it has. Okay, so these are um, these are working for me to get to get rich snippets. So here we're gonna put. You could put the article image. So you would upload and, and attach the image. And in my case now, here's the title is how to sell a house with a real estate agent. Okay, so let me upload file, go to my media library, put in a seller. That works. Okay, and then we need a short description. So I'm going to find something up here in my... Um, this looks good. Okay, it's short, kind of like your meta description. And then the author is Lori Ballin, and the publisher organization is Lori Ballin Team at Keller Williams. And my publisher logo, so this is where you're going to put in. Your publisher logo can be, you could make a special logo. It could be, a, um, uh, it could be your, your brokerage logo, something like that. Now, on, on, um, on, this plugin actually puts this, it puts the content on the page, which I'm going to show you in a second. In fact, let me just show it to you now so that you can see what I'm talking about. So let me click update. And let's do view post. Okay, so down at the very bottom, here's your markup. Okay. There are other plugins that will put that behind the page. You won't be able to see it on the page. And I don't know yet which is better. Um, and so I'm going to be playing with those. Um, I probably would prefer it not on the page. Um, I don't know. I, I just want them going right down into a clickable you know, menu option or something like these are related articles. And I, w I would rather them do something like that. And so... Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to keep mine on the page, but I like it there now as a learning, as a learning, as a learning spot.